constantly have codes going off. It's a nearly $800,000 combine, and if just one small little sensor goes bad, it shuts off. First, you have to figure out if the problem is an electric problem or a mechanical problem, and without their proprietary software, that's really hard to do. In 2012, a bill was passed allowing you to go to an auto parts store and find out what's wrong with your car with codes. Farmers aren't currently allowed to do that on these big rigs, meaning they have to call an authorized service person to come repair it. It's $150 an hour. And Jared says it could take two days or two months. They're not airplanes. A proposed federal bill, along with the Missouri State House right to repair bill, would allow farmers access to repair codes and software to fix their own machinery, something they say they're pretty good at. We could do it much cheaper ourselves. Jared says if the bill passes, farmers could save hundreds of thousands of dollars, which in turn could help save some farms. Especially the highly leveraged younger farmers. Jared says the biggest issue is downtime. He says, what's the use of having a piece of machinery if you can't use it? These machines cost so much money that we have to have them running 18, 20 hours a day. Right now, Jared says his group is just trying to get the bill through committee. We try to do everything here that we can and not take it to the dealership just because it costs so much. In Bates County, Alan Shope, KBC 9 News.